Now I've only ever seen this synthesizer in a dark and dingy studio in West London. I never noticed before all the markings here. So this is a homemade top panel. And I don't know if you can see the little arrow scratched in the top. That shows you which direction it goes. And watch out we have full mains voltage here just at the top of the keyboard. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember now. What's the password, member? Yeah, I remember. You remember? I remember. Uh, we have hinges here. Um, and that will actually allow us to lift up the keyboard. There's another one on this side as well. And then there's two screws on the bottom here. You just got to take those out. So this keyboard uses the J-Wire contacts and I don't know about you but when you're in the middle of a session um, you don't really have time to order some proper J-Wires. Ain't nobody got time for that! So uh, over some time we've been replacing the J-Wires with some guitar strings um, and then moved on to putting some solder on the guitar strings to tin them. These are the J-Wires here. This looks like an original one. This looks like a guitar string that we uh, put in there. Doesn't look like it's soldered. Um, the A key that we found was not working is this one here. Uh, if you can see that the J wire is actually broken so I suspect it's down inside the keyboard. So yeah, that's a definite broken one. And I think what I need to do is mark the keys so we know which ones are playing up. Aha! There's that broken J wire. You don't really want bits of metal floating around inside the keyboard. I have to admit, I was a little bit unsure about using um, guitar strings. We know that they can go rusty, um, get oxide on them and cause bad contacts. And all of the notes that weren't triggering properly are still using the original J-Wires. So in actual fact, the guitar strings are held up not too bad. Um, I wanted to try another experiment whilst this is an ongoing thing. So I've ordered some uh, gold-plated jewellery wire. This was the cheapest one on eBay. And turns out that it's not real gold. Not even conductive. So that can go. Uh, this one, that was about three pounds. This was about four pounds. And it is actually conductive. So it's a little bit thinner than I was hoping. But I'm going to try and replace this broken one that we have with this wire and just see what happens. I, I think I will feel a bit more comfortable in the long term with this one. Okay, so we need a piece of wire about so long. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just going to tin the end so there's some solder. And we'll just take this broken J wire out. Okay. Good tip here now is that we can f free flatten a Q tip. That's pretty bad. And I'm going to clean the uh, wire. OK, 
Okay, that seems to work. Um, I think what I'm going to do is replace any of the really black ones, the ones that look like they're going to fall apart anyway. Replace them all with um, the jewellery wire. And then make a good experiment. We can put this back into situ and then we'll see what happens through the passage of time. <laughs> After all that, and after actually looking back through the footage that I just recorded, a um, couple of things came to light. One was, there was actually, I noticed, an, another original JY, which is just on the brink of breaking. Um, so I'm going to replace that. It was also very clear on the camera that the uh, bus bar was absolutely filthy. I think I really... To make it a good test anyway, I need to get that bus bar off, clean it all off, clean all the other contacts to give them a kind of a better starting position for the test to see how long these things last. So, um, I might have to use some flux on here. I don't know how difficult this is going to be. In fact... I'm going to get my soldering iron as well and I'm going to attack it with both bits of heat. That went well. Um, actually finishes just a bit short there. Um, Okay, so now I can slide the bus bar out. Oh, I can feel it catching on gunk. Ugh. Damn it. Now what I don't want to do is mess up the bus bar in any way, so I'm not going to use any kind of abrasive or anything like that. I'm just going to use some uh, deoxit and a lint free cloth. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. 